Hey everyone, I'm here at the Ronald McDonald House in New Hyde Park. Uh, the Ronald McDonald House is so special to me. I volunteered there for many years in Ohio and I know it's very important to CBS 880 and my boss Ben. So we're spending the day here and we're gonna talk to different people, volunteers and doctors and parents and uh, get a little bit of more feel about the Ron McDonald House because some people don't know about it. So this is how you're gonna learn about it today. Here we are. I wanna show you this cute room here. Look at this playroom. Look at the, look at the house, the little playhouse. Look at that, it leads to the playroom. Hi, Tracy Schmidt. I am the executive assistant to Matt Campo, CEO of Ronald McDonald House Charities. And how long have you been here? It's coming up on three years. Wow. Three years of working here, uh, many years of volunteering, bringing uh, my children and our organizations with us, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, religion classes. And um, I'm very grateful and happy to be part of what goes on here every day. Aww. And where are we at? What, what room this is this? This room is the first place when families walk through our door, they see. We call this our great room. Partially because of the size, but probably more importantly that we, our hope is that when the families walk through the door, this room can give them one great moment of any given day. Aww. And what do you do here, Barbara, at the Ronald McDonald House? I volunteer at the front desk to make sure that everyone's checked in safely and soundly and help the residents with whatever they may need. And she is a very helpful person. She's helped me already today, right? <laughs> High five! All right, you know what? Maybe one of the other side, you How long do people normally stay at the house? It really does vary. I mean, we've had people who come for one to two nights and we've had people here over a year. Over a year? Over wow. a year. So depending on what their child's care program and protocol is, depends on how long they need to stay. The mats. It's kind of cool. And sometimes we actually get mats in the mats room, which we love. Wow. They come and they sign stuff for the families and the kids who come. And we say, so we are upstairs and this is where some this of the rooms right are located. And we're gonna get to see one of the rooms, number 218. Number 218, as I said, each room was designed um, differently by the designer. They had carte blanche. They brought in all of their um, trades and people and then they did, they created each room how they wanted to. And so each of our guest rooms, we have 42 guest rooms, has a different design theme and all the amenities to make it as homey as possible. When the families come, they always get a welcome bag, there's blankets, there's some stuffed animals. Any family that has a child in the hospital can take advantage of our services and the support that we offer families in need. Our goal is very simple. We wanna take care of families in the hospital so that they can focus on the needs of their sick child. So it doesn't matter how much you make a year, you're not looking at that obviously. It doesn't matter how much you make a year. We don't look at finances, we don't ask for money. It's just important that we're able to provide for all of those non-clinical needs.